Hi all, welcome to ESI Cloud Trainings. My name is Shali Nerella. Let's get started with Dell Bumi Atomsphere Basic Training Day 8 session. So in our today's session, we'll see how to integrate two end applications, one cloud application and one local application. So we'll integrate data between Salesforce accounts object data and we'll load them into database table. So we'll see Salesforce to database insert, Salesforce to database update, and SQL lookup to insert or update. So if the record is already present, it should go and update the data. If the data is not present, it should go and insert it. Right? So let's get started. So now these are the three records that are there in accounts object, right? So now we'll move all these three into database. Right? So now in database, we need to have this structure. So it should have this structure that is there in accounts object, right? So for that, what are we going to do? We'll create that structure in database. So we'll create that table. So this is the table. I'll just copy it and paste it here. We'll create a table. So now So this is created. Now if you see here, we have SF underscore account and columns. All these are the different columns, right? So now as of now, there'll be no data, correct? So select star from SF underscore account. So zero. Now what I want to do is I want to move all this data to database. Data from accounts object to database. So now we'll go ahead and create a process. So I'll let me create the folder first day eight. Done. And now let's create a process. So we'll see. SF, SF is Salesforce, SF2, DB, insert. So say no data start. And then, so first, whenever you are starting with any project, the very important thing is configure your endpoints and test them first configure your endpoints so now let me create the source so salesforce get we already have the connection so let's reuse it so the best practice is create this connection in common components so you can reuse across different processes so let's do that so let me copy these connections to salesforce uh, to, to common components Also database connection. So we have them here. Database connection and Salesforce connection. So these can be reused, right? So I'll go ahead and select my connection from Shalini common components, right? And now I'll create the operation. So I'll say account. Salesforce operation. So import this. So out of here, select your object account and the action will be query. Say next. So now we'll say next. 
and it has created the response profile and we have discussed all these options, right? So let's say save and close and click on OK. So this is now done. Now what we'll do? Now we'll create the uh, target. So database is our target database and now the action is going to be sent, right? Connection reuse from common components operation so i'll again also say here account database operation and create your profile so now you can click on statement if you click on statement you'll see here standard insert update or delete which means you can write down the scripts here you can write down the statement here Right, you can write down normal uh, insert statements, update statements, delete statements, etc. And you'll see here import is not enabled. And if you go and click dynamic insert, which means you are importing it from database, so you'll see that import option enabled, and you'll just get this table name created. Similarly, dynamic update, dynamic delete, and stored procedure, right. Right. So these are in the send action. So now what we'll do because this is our insert uh, operation we will be doing dynamic insert and will import it from table. Choose your connection. Say next. So it has loaded the tables. I'll go and select SF underscore account. Say next. And here you can select the required fields. So for me, I'll need all the fields. Say next. Finish. So now you'll see here the profile been created. Okay. And table name SF underscore account. So this is also done. So now I'll have to convert. So out of Salesforce, I'm getting this XML data. And before inserting into database, I need to have a database profile, right? So this conversion from XML to database profile is done through mapping. So use a map. So map is used to convert from one format to another format. So here we are converting from XML profile to database profile. So I'll now say SF account, SF to DB account map okay so go and choose your profile xml profile and i'll select this and here i'll select database profile so now we have more number of uh, fields here if you see correct so manually going and mapping each one will not be the correct option so as we discussed, we have something here called Boomi Suggest. So here it will give you high confidence, 32, medium, 2. So you can also see you, when the mapping sheet is provided, you can just compare them if they are correctly mapped or no. Right? And say next. So industry to annual revenue, website to site. So just say finish. Right? So now, so this automatically created and you'll be able to seek for created date. It had automatically created a map function get current date. Right? So you can just check whether all have been correctly mapped or no. And say save and close. So now let's try executing this process. I'll place a stop shape to the end. Save and execute so remember now we can we use a cloud atom no because it includes a local application database so i'll have to use local atom So see here what it says data too long for column description. So now when you get this kind of error, what you'll have to do 
first go 